would rather have that after we do the jury selection uh, before opening. Then I would ask at least that we be admonished not to use such words in jury selection to the extent that we have in fact been prejudiced or delayed in the preparation of that evidence. The court is well aware we worked last Saturday. I'm not suggesting we got to work next Saturday, but we have plenty of time. The court is in recess at this time. We are relieved that the start of the trial is here with the jury selection as we uh, seek justice for our son Trayvon and we also seek uh, a fair and impartial trial. Um, we ask that the community continue to stay peaceful as we place our faith in the justice system and we ask that the community do the same. We ask that um, our families and friends continue to pray for us, continue to keep us safe and in God's arms. We ask that you continue to pray for Trayvon and our family. Thank you. Thank you. That for millions and millions of people all across this country, they walk around with a hope and they have a reason to say I can tell you as a family we're very confident in the outcome of the case and we're very confident um, that the state will not be able to meet its burden and it's a twofold burden here in Florida. Not only do they have to prove that this was a murder as they allege, they also have to prove simultaneously that it could not have been self-defense. So we're confident uh, the state won't meet its burden and that kind of backs into our confidence in the legal team. It's important that jurors get to know that George is a real person. Uh, he's not just whatever images people flash across the screen or whatever narrative people write about. Um, he's a sensitive person. He's generous. Uh, he's uh, very likable if you actually get to meet him.